Hey guys, how you doing? It's Beth. Um, we have so much to do. So much to do. I haven't seen you in like forever. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial first. I know. Um, but you know, this is the thing. Because this is what happened. I have not done any crafting since like Tuesday. Because this weekend has just been crazy. Anyway, so Sunday night, after everything was done, I was finally sitting down and I wanted to make something, but I was kind of bored with the stuff that I had and I, I just wanted to s try something new. So I went on um, YouTube and looked for a tutorial and I found this, it's called an 8x8 Flip Pocket Mini Album Tutorial and it's by Chibit Chibia and Milo. C-H-I-B-I-C-H-I-B-I-A and Milo. Um, anyway, what I find with these tutorials a lot, either they're not really tutorials because what they're doing is showing you what they've already made. They don't really tell you how they got there. Um, or, like what this uh, woman did, um, she it was an actual tutorial, but there was just music. And then along the bottom, she scrolled, you know, there was like word scrolled, you know, score, whatever, cut, whatever. Um, and she used all white paper. And with the lighting, it was very hard to see what she was doing. So um, I really, really love this because I'll tell you why. This is how it looks. Um, I did a couple. Um, I have not done any embellishing yet or whatever, but just I just started kind of just playing. But look at how thin this is, okay? And what I love about it is that, it really, I mean, oh my God, the, um, I mean, what you can do with it, the, I, it just goes on forever and ever. I mean, you could do, you could make like, you know, to hold menus or coupons, you know, there's pockets on either side and then it flips and it flips and there's as you can see pockets and pockets and pockets and pockets and I can do more pockets here I mean it's just crazy how much room you can get in this little tiny thing so you know like the holidays are coming up and you want to maybe do one of those advent calendars you know where you can make pockets and each one holds a little you know note or gift card or clue to you know like for the kids to find a, a prize or something um, so this is the one I did it took me five times people to watch this video and figure out how to do it so that's why I decided to do a tutorial for those of us out there who are a little scrap challenged, some more than others, and I'm talking about myself here, I am, um, I don't know if it's because I'm a genius or mentally deranged. I don't know. I'm going with the mentally deranged right now. But um, I just, I need someone to talk to me. Um, and that's why I love, like, Peggy, JP Peggy too, she, when she does her tutorials, I love that because she she's talking to me and she's explaining as she goes. So I get it. Heather, Ideas to Come does the same thing. I love that. The whole music, you know, and the speeding up and the, I, I can't learn that way. So I'm doing this tutorial for those of you out there who are like me, who have, um, you know, uh, learning issues when it comes to scrapbooking. So I did this one and I actually used the paper that my friend Kathy, who's Scrappy523 um, on YouTube, may, uh, gave me the um, Garden Harvest, which is really, I mean, it's older than God, I know. But it's such pretty paper and it's glittery and it's, you know, it's food. How can you not love it? So then, um, that was Sunday night. Okay, so then last night, um, after I had a lot to do. So then I came upstairs and I was about to go to bed and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try it one more time. And I didn't have the directions, um, which as you can see, does make a little bit of a difference because you see this here. 
So what I did was I made this belly band thing that I put along the bottom so that, um, actually turn it this way, right? So that it doesn't hang. Yeah. So, you know, it kind of almost, you can't really tell that it's, it's wrong. Um, but that's what I love about scrapbooking. And that's what I love about doing these mini albums, like any of them, like no matter what, it's okay. You just fix it. So like this paper here, um, absolutely gorgeous, right? I mean, it has like friends, sharing, love, hope, bountiful. How nice for like Thanksgiving. And I had gotten this paper. I don't know if I ever showed it to you. Um, the Kane Company. Again, probably older than dirt. Um, but it's so fallish and pretty and it's double-sided. And um, you kind of really do need double-sided. Although, what I'm going to show you is um, I, I used... Um, just solid colored paper and then I'm going to use this I got this um, somebody sent this in a rack for me and oh, I'm so sorry that I don't remember who um, the retro kitchen paper which is kind of a fallish color you know it has a fallish color to it and it's kitchen so I'm using this paper to go along with the solid colors just to show you how to do it um, I actually did this video once and you can see some black be and here too because I um, I had no tape, and I was thinking, um, you know, I really probably should get some because electrical tape, as good as it is, and I did use it on my origami box, which seemed to work out very well, um, I thought for this, maybe I'll, I'll go the extra mile just for you guys. Um, before I do that, let me just show you on the inside of this one what happened. Now, you can see on the side here, you get your pockets. Okay. And, and this is what I love. It's like, it, there's so much room. It's crazy, like, how many re recipes I can get in here. Now, this is where I had a little bit of an issue. And you can see why I put some flowers and stuff there, because I made a mistake. But see, you know what? So you fix it. You cover it up. And that's what I love. Um, and then it flips. And again, more you know, of the pockets. And then you can put pockets on. What I, I mean, it's just, the possibilities really are endless. This one here, I actually, um, besides doing a pocket, I also did a little square thing so I could also put a, another thing. You know, whatever. Or maybe they'll want to put pictures here. You know, on this, I don't know. I just, I just really, I'm so excited about this. So I want to show you how to do it, even though you probably all know how to do it, except for me. But just in case you want to go see that other video, um, and I can't even say it. <laughs> um, I'm just telling you now, no talking, very nice music, um, but that's I can't learn like that. So this is what you're going to have to do. You need 12 by 12 paper, double-sided preferably, but if you decorate it up, it can be single-sided, I think. Why not? You know, anything is possible. Um, the reason that you need 12 by 12, even though you're going to be cutting the papers, I think the, the biggest size you're going to cut is an eight and a half, but you're going to be using the, um, the other pieces for pockets. So, I mean, again, if you want to use eight and a half by 11 and then just use you know, different paper for pockets. Great, whatever, that's fine. So you start with, and it has to be cardstock, obviously, because you want it to be heavy duty. Um, you start with a, I like this yellow pieces in here. You know what, let me untape it. Hold on a minute, people, I'm gonna untape it. There, it's gone. Okay, so you're gonna start with a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and you're gonna score at one and five eighths and one and seven eighths. Now, somebody said in a video, and I don't remember who, and thank God for them, because I swear to God, when I was seeing these, like, you know, four-eighths and whatever, I was, I couldn't, I had a ruler going, I was on the internet, I was, I don't know, somehow in the metric system, I don't know what I was doing. Very, very simple, as it turns out, in case anyone out there doesn't know besides me. Look at how dirty this is. I really need a different one, right? Um, but anyway, all you do is... You take the number, so it's one and five-eighths, so you start at the number one, 
and then you count over five little lines. One, two, three, four, five. Boom! One and five eighths. Who knew? Did you guys know? You did, didn't you? Oh, damn. Oh, well. Now I know. So one and five eighths and one and seven eighths. And you do that. Now she did this where you do, I don't know how she was doing. She was doing score one and seven eighths and then ten and something or other. Then one and five eighths and ten and something and other. And I was like, you know what, really? Okay, I can't do that. So this is what you do. You score it at one and five eighths, one and seven eighths. Turn it. One and five eighths, one and seven eighths. Turn it. One and five eighths. Really do it any way you want. But what you end up with is like this little box kind of thing. See the, um, what is this called? This little hoodinky, this little thing right here, this, this piece. I don't know. But whatever it is, this is what you get. Okay. Whatever it is. All right. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to actually cut, and I did it because I already did a video, but I screwed it up. Um, but I'm going to put it back. <laughs> no, I can't because I don't know how. Oh, here. Okay. So let's just say this never got cut, people. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut the outermost line on either corner. Not the inside score lines, but the outside score lines. So now there are no score lines whatsoever. They have disappeared. So, and you do that on all four corners. So you end up like this. Okay. Now the next step is you're going to take another piece of paper. Let me just take my electrical tape off because... Um, I've moved on here, people. I'm getting now more sophisticated. I have I have this, which I got at Marshall's. I'll tell you about that later. Okay. Um, and please pardon my uh, ink-stained fingers because I had a fight with my boss's um, ink stamp, and it won. Um, okay, so now you're going to take your first 12 by 12 piece of paper, and you're going to cut it at eight and a quarter and eight and a quarter okay then you're going to take your outside little box thing and holding it so that it's it's facing away from you so the back is to you now like this you're going to take your eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter piece of paper and you're going to make a pocket so you're going to glue just along the bottom and the side. Okay, so just along the bottom and the side. And on the outside, so it's facing you, you're going to glue it or tape it to the, not the back score line, but the inside one. Okay, so it goes like this. Not perfect. I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing this to be perfect. But, okay, so it's a pocket here when it closes. Okay. It looks like this, but you still see the, the outside, you know, part like that. Okay, so that is your first piece of paper. And you've made a pocket on the top. Okay, the second piece of paper, i got to find them all now, is going to be, well, we'll use this one because she did it this way. I don't know why. Hold on a minute, people. Hold on a minute, people. Hold on a minute. I can do this. I'm losing a piece of paper. See, I had it all done. That was my problem. And now I've lost it. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Okay, well, you know what? We'll use this. Oh, here it is. Okay, so then you have this piece of paper here, which is actually, you know what? No, we're going to do this first. Have I already confused you? I know. See, this is it. I can't do tutorials. All right, you know what? Have we all got this so far? 
I think we're doing very well. I think so far we're doing very well. Okay? We've made our first little pocket right here. And that was an eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Okay, so let's forget everything that happened, you know, just before. We're moving on. We're moving on. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is cut. I don't know why she did it this way, but anyway, what she did was, oh, maybe she did this one next. Yes, she did. She cut this one. Okay, so this one is an eight and a quarter by six and a half. And then you're going to score at the six mark so that you have this little ledge thing here. Okay? So that's one piece of paper. Eight and a quarter by six, six and a half, and then you score it at six. Okay? Then the next piece of paper is eight and a half by eight and a quarter. And you're going to score it at eight. So again, you have that at eight. See, I tore it when I was taking it apart. Oh well. So it's eight and a quarter, eight and a half, and you're scoring it. Okay? All right. So then what you're going to do, this is the top. As you can see, we're going to go now to the bottom. Oh, and then the last piece of paper, sorry, is actually just a piece of this so that's why um, and it's eight and a quarter by this happens to be three and five eighths it really you know what whatever it, it's whatever you want it to be but there you have it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make another pocket only this time it's got to be on the inside not on the outside because it's not gonna go like that it's gonna go like this so that this shows, okay? So, we're gonna glue around the bottom, or tape it, I mean, like this. So I have just the tape along here and here and here. And then I go, and it's gonna be the very first crease line, not the, not the one closest to the inside, but the one closest to the outside. And I'm gonna make my pocket. And so I'm going to line it up ever so carefully, ever so carefully, people. Okay? So it looks like this. So when it goes up, there's a pocket here. Okay, so I glued a little too much. I went all the way up. You, you don't have to glue all the way up. Yeah, I made a little mistake there. So we're going to fix that so easily. Easy peasy. It's going to look gorgeous. So gorgeous, like, you're going to be like, holy crap, is she good or what? Okay, there. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, that's too much. Okay, there we go. Okay, there. Okay, so, ooh, and that makes it a nice little thing, too. Okay, so there you go. First flap down, and it's a pocket. How fun is that? Okay, then you're going to take your next one, which is the smaller, the next smallest one, which is the eight and a quarter by six and a half, which you then scored at six to make this little hoodinky thing flap. And you're going to just glue the flap. In my case, I'm just going to tape the flap because glue would take too long, I think. And then you're going to glue, glue it or tape it to the inside that crease, inside that crease, see, in between. So it's right in between the two, the two score lines. Okay? So the outside score line is up here, and the inside score line is right there. Are we all together on this, people? Did I do that on the wrong side? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you did not see that. I swear to God, you did not see that at all. <laughs> sorry, people. I'm sorry. I'm doing really well. Oh, crap. I think I broke my tape. Okay. 
This is good tape too. I got out Marshalls. I told you that, right? Okay, wait. <laughs> This is why I shouldn't say tutorial. <laughs> no, okay. Can we get serious? This is serious. Come on, people. People are expecting to learn something here. All right, so we got our, our thing, and, I, and we glue just this part. We go back to the front. This is the front. And we open it, and we then glue it in that little creasy thing. So it's in between the two score lines. There. Okay. So now, this is how it goes. So it flips, and it flips, and then we take our last one, which is the eight and a quarter by eight and a half that we then scored at eight, because we're going to use that one. Right, we've got to be careful here, people. Let's try to get this on the right side, okay? And we're going to tape along. This is really good. I'm bringing this to Jason's workshop, um, his card workshop. I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's so funny, too, because my daughter's supposed to be moving into college. I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to make cards. <sighs> I just love that. Okay, anyway, so I'm a bad mother, right? Well, you know what? She's working anyway. It's fine. It's not really as bad as it sounds. Okay, so then you're going to take this last flap and you're going to glue, it's going to get glued so that it's at the very end, uh, it's, it's at the innermost crease. Yeah, innermost crease, like this. All right, so we have this one, which is on the outermost crease and it makes a pocket. And then we have this one, which is in between the two creases that we've scored. And then we have this one that is on the outermost crease. Okay? And, the, it, and then you bring this one down. And it goes like this. Everybody see that? Would you believe I have to blow my nose? Holy crap! Okay, I'm sorry, people. It's this room. I don't know what it is. I swear to God, I'm so, so sorry. All right, everybody, just talk amongst yourselves. I'm sorry. I swear to God, I need like a Kleenex machine here. Okay, so does everybody get that? Everybody get that? Look at this. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Are we all together on this, people? Oh, wait. This is on the outside. That's why it's not working. Okay, so there we go. That's how we, that's what we got so far. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to cut two pieces of paper. <laughs> we really are. We're going to cut two of these. I swear to God we are. Oh, here we go. Okay, and you're going to cut eight and a quarter by four and a half. Now, the woman in this video, I can't say it, it's an, if you go to tutorial, eight and a half, eight by eight flip pocket mini album, and she used the um, Graphic 45 Le Cirque paper, it, oh my god, it was beautiful what she did, holy mackerel, gorgeous. Um, anyway, she has, and I actually have one, where she did like a circle so that it was like a half circle because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be gluing it and you're making a pocket you're making a pocket to the outside so let me show you I think I can I think I can I think I can okay oh I did it again I went up to <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. No, I can fix this. I can fix it. It's a piece of cake. Okay. So now you have these these side flaps. And these are the flaps you're going to be making the pockets with. Okay? So you're going to take your first one. And you're going to, just at the, not on the outside crease, but the, the innermost crease. And you're going to make your pocket by going like so. There. 
and I have just a little bit of tape on this side here. So we're going to fix that right away here, people. Quick as a bunny. You're not going to even notice it's there. Quick, quick, quick as a bunny. Bada bing, bada bang. Okay, and you're going to do that on both sides. Let's see if we can get this right now. Okay, I have an idea. Holy crap. I should be gluing this, not that. See, this is why it takes me so long to learn how to do something. Because I just don't have any common sense. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so now here we are. This is our first side. And we still have this leftover pla uh, pocket. And I glued along the outside. And I'm now, again, on the outermost score line. I'm going to put my paper. Look at this one-handed, people. One-handed. I'm that good. Oh, crap. Not really. A little bit showing. That's okay. Okay. So this is actually going to be what the front looks like. So this is this is this paper here. And you see how I made the pocket. So that's what this is. Upside down. Okay. So you have your pocket. And you can make this any way you want. You can design the, like she did it, so she, it was beautiful. Um, and then, I don't know how she closed it. I, I, it looked like magnets or something. But, I mean, really, you can do anything you want. What I did with this one is I did it so that the paper would slip in between like this and close. And then with this, with the other one... Um, I don't know what I'm doing, um, but what I did with this one was I used that belly band that I made to kind of cover up, and I did it along the bottom so to cover up because I didn't do the, the dimensions right. So really, you can do it any way you want. And then what you do, okay, it goes like this. And then what you do is you use your other pieces that you've been cutting, you know, um, to make your pockets. So, and it could be any size or whatever. And then, you know, you can make a pocket here and you can flip it and you can make another stuck pocket there and a pocket over here and any way you want. And you have all these places to put stuff. It's like amazing. It's like magic. And look at how, <laughs> and look at how beautiful that is. See? See that? Anyone can do this. Anyone can do this. Probably better than <laughs> just pretend like you don't see that part. How fun! Why is that folding like that? Because I'm not being careful. I, I'm not being careful because I, I can't waste time doing that. But I just wanted you to know. So I'm just going to make a whole bunch of holiday ones like this. I just love this new one because look at how nice and thin. And, I mean, you don't need to do the, you know, flowers and all that kind of stuff. You can keep it flat. And then it just goes right into a drawer and it could be, like I said, it could be for anything. I mean, it could just be, it could be for recipes. But it could also be for, you know, cards, birthday cards or anniversary cards or coupons or whatever. I love it. I love this. The end. Okay, that's it for now. Now I'm going to do my haul video. Uh, if you have any questions, um, I think we all know not to ask me. <laughs> Sorry. I really don't think I'm the best person to ask. All right. I'll be back in a minute. Bye.